In this Starfield video, I will be sharing with you what was included in today's update. Bethesda have released another patch for the game. It's the third beta and I have all of the details in this video, including some extra stuff that will be coming in future updates as well. Before we do get into everything though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates on Starfield. So as I briefly mentioned, a third beta patch has been released on the Steam version for the game. So if you have opted into the Steam beta, you now have an update that's around 700 megabytes to download. In terms of what was included in this update, Bethesda say that it includes some visual improvements related to DLSS. So how the upscaler resolves the image looks better now. Unfortunately, they weren't actually detailing any specifics exactly, but some people have seemed to notice that it definitely looks better. We are now three patches deep and many people have been wondering when is this next big update coming to the Xbox side of things as well as the PC Game Pass version. Well, at this moment in time, we don't have a time scale, but given that we are two weeks into this, perhaps one more week of beta patches, that's just speculation on my part. And then maybe it will release the following week unless they somehow come up with it next week, which I hope they do because I know that Xbox users are desperate to take advantage of all of the bug fixes and performance improvements. Bethesda have also been updating some support articles with some additional information about issues people have been facing and the fact that they will be fixed in future updates. So a common issue I've seen in my comment section is I have this ship that stuck to my ship, what is going on? How can I fix this? Well, Bethesda have laid out how you can actually troubleshoot this. So what you can do is force the game to refresh or redraw your problem area by fast traveling out of the area you are having such an issue, such as to a nearby planet and return, or enter an instance area where you get a loading screen and return to the area that you were experiencing an issue. There are some additional ways that you can potentially troubleshoot this, which I will show on screen and they basically did say that this will be fixed in a future update. It's going to be resolved. They just have not actually shared which patch this will be actually in or when it will come. Another issue people have been having is they've been unable to hail the Helix after defeating the Starborn ships. Bethesda have confirmed this will be resolved again in another future update. We just don't know which update that will be. I would love to hear from anyone who has been using the Steam Beta, how have you been finding it? I've definitely seen improvements in terms of performance, it's not quite where I would like it to be, but in various areas it's definitely way better, but the more taxing areas still aren't quite where I'd like them to be. As soon as another beta update or the full release has been confirmed, I will make a video, so make sure you do stay subscribed for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. If you missed any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on the screen right now, and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.